Hey guys, Joe back once again with some OCR FSMQ and today we are talking about vertical motion under gravity. So we're expanding my knowledge on the equations of motion as you can see down below in the learning objective and we're going to involve gravity and understand the term G in this lesson. So last lesson we talked about the equations of motion, uh, what they are and um, yeah, hopefully you guys check that out because you do need that knowledge to, to cope with this one. Although you, you could possibly pick it up um, regardless. So let's get on with it before I start rambling on for about half an hour. So we've studied the equations of uniformly accelerated motion. S equals ut plus half at squared, v equals u plus at, and v squared equals u squared plus 2s. I, I did say in the last lesson there's more um, equations out there, but they're the three that will get you everything you could ever want, and they're, they're the, probably the easiest to learn for me personally. So if a body is launched, a body is just a particle, it's not a literal body. When I was teaching this to, to my little class, there was a few giggles. <laughs> um, but yeah, if a body is launched vertically upwards, then it's free to move under gravity, which is quite obvious because if you jump up, then gravity pulls you back down. But no, this is not a projectile, and that is covered in M2 if you take further maths at A level. Um, yeah, projectile would be me throwing a ball and somebody catching it, um, I don't know, 70 metres in front of us. Or whatever we are literally talking about thrown up and down perfectly up and perfectly down no angles involved so in this case the size of um, the acceleration is a famous constant which we call G G for gravity and that equals around about 9.8 meters per second but we um, talk about G being negative in maths because gravity acts downwards and downwards on a graph would be negative so we call it negative 9.8 so that's something to remember physicists tend to like to change it depending on the question whether you you know going up or down but it, always keep it as negative and keep your displacement um, negative if if for example you're starting on a cliff 50 meters up then uh, displacement of the ground will be minus 50 meters because downwards on a graph is negative. Um, so we, we always uh, define the origin to be the point of launch and that will help us with displacement issues. So let's do an example. A marble just rolls off a table of height 1.6 meters. Find the speed with which it hits the floor. So as we table, and this, this, is all, this PowerPoint is pretty much all done by my teacher, you know, I, I honestly don't have the time to make wonderful diagrams like this. But there's a start. Uh, that's that is the marble, and it's rolling off, and it drops 1.6 meters down to the finish. So there you go. We list with variables still. So you've got Suva. This bit was done by me. Uh, read the questions. So, marble just rolls off a table at a height 1.6 meters. So, it's starting at a 1.6 uh, height, and it's going to end up at zero. So, it's going to be a minus 1.6 there because it's moving down. U equals zero because it just rolls off the table. So, nobody's throwing it or anything. It, it's literally just just rolling off. And your a is minus g because um, it's moving downwards, it's accelerating towards the Earth, so it's minus 9.8, if you want to think of it like that. And V is what we're finding out. So the U equals 0 because it's just rolled off. Uh, your A equals minus G because it's moving freely under gravity. And S equals minus 1.6 because the story finishes 1.6 below the start. So apply your formula. Uh, this one I would probably go V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. I did because we're trying to find V, uh, if we put a question mark there, it's not a very good question mark mine, but a question mark nonetheless. Um, and that one has all of the, the ingredients we want. So substitute your numbers in, just literally drop them in for where you see them. Get V squared equals 0 plus 2 times minus 3 times minus 1.6, and there you can see the double negative will come into play, and you'll end up with V squared equals 3.2G, 
which means that it's v squared equals 3.2 times 9.8. So v equals the root of 31.36, which is approximately equal to 5.6 meters per second. So that is the speed with which this marble will hit the floor. So let's do another one. On a small airless planet, not necessarily Earth, and I don't think it is Earth in this case, a ball is thrown upwards with a speed of 30 meters a second from a point 1.6 meters above the ground. Uh, if the ball takes 10 seconds to reach the ground, find the acceleration due to gravity on that planet. So it's not Earth, so it's not 9.8 minus 9.8, unfortunately. Um, but there we go, there's the ball. That's the start. It's thrown up. And then it comes straight back down. But remember, we're zero line is here and it's uh, 1.6 from um, the here to here like that that is 1.6 so list your variables you've got suva read the question so it's projected with a speed of 30 meters per second um, and it's going down 1.6 again because it finishes 1.6 below the origin you use 30 and your t is 10. They're the only things we know and we want to find out acceleration. So the acceleration is question mark because it's not Earth. t equals 10, u equals 30, s equals minus 1.6. So I'm thinking s equals ut plus half at squared. Don't worry if you, you're not used to the formulas yet. You will be once you've done practice um, of them. Minus 1.6 equals 30 times 10 plus a half times a times 100 because uh, 10 squared is 100. It is only the t that is squared. I know my class had a couple of issues with that. It is only the t that's squared and not the a t as a whole. Otherwise, there would be brackets around those. So that equals that. Just tidying up there. Could have times throw out by 2, uh, but the half and the 100 cancel nicely to 50. Rearrange, and well, yeah, you'll take the 300 uh, over the other side, and that'll make minus 301.6, and then divide both sides by 50. So acceleration on this planet is 6.032 meters per second squared. And remember, it's negative because it's acting downwards. Gravity still acts towards the center of this planet, which is good. And that is pretty much that. So this covers all bases. Uh, you could be asked uh, to do with equations of motion. I haven't seen many uh, vertical motion under gravity questions um, on the actual exams, but I have seen it in the practice book, so um, it, it, it must be uh, within the examiner's right to ask you. So it's, it's very much uh, nice to be aware of what minus 9.8 actually means, and it is uh, gravity. So, yeah, I hope you guys have found this helpful. If you take an M2... Uh, not M2, M1, then um, this, will, this will be a useful video for you because it's exactly the same concept uh, to apply. But yeah, uh, I shall see you for the next episode, which will be general motion, uh, which is a variable acceleration as opposed to constant. And uh, yeah, leave your feedback down below, and I shall see you guys in a couple of days' time. Bye-bye.